What's up everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're fishing uh, the Fort DeSoto Golf Pier. Just got on the pier. We're going to get some bait real quick. Uh, just a little bit of pilchards um, around, a lot of small ones. Main target species is going to have to be uh, Spanish mackerel, but take anything that bites. I might try for snook later in the day. We'll see. All right, there's a ton of bait right below me. I should be able to get some bait right here. Let's see. Uh, that was a terrible cast, but that's all right. Should be enough right there. Good size pilchards too. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, you can take some. You want these? You want these ones? There you go, you can have these. What do you do with these? Do you eat them? No. Oh, you fish? Oh, for the bait. Oh, for bait? Cut bait. Cut bait? Yes. There you go, all yours. Thank you. What size net that is? Uh, it's a half inch mesh. About, uh... It's a, it's a, it's a six foot. Six foot? Yeah. It's a smaller, smaller net. It's my beater net, but it gets the job done. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Man. Yeah, man. You got it. Help yourself what out. What's your YouTube name? I will walk in. Uh, uh, Bonnie. Bonnie, okay. Yeah, there you go. I need this. All yours. You also make from here. I live in Panama City. Oh, yeah? And um, you know the Okaloosa. How's, yeah, Okaloosa. Uh, yeah. yeah. Panama City. Good fishing. Bad. Yeah, but I pick vacation here. I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to be using this smaller outfit, the medium action rod here, but I do have to switch switch up the, uh, the hook size. I'm going to go with a long shank J hook because we're going for Spanish mackerel and they have, you know, super sharp teeth. They will clip you immediately if you don't have the, the right hooks. Occasionally you'll land them with, with a circle hook or like a short shank J hook, but ideally you want to go with something like this. Something like that is uh, very effective. Long shank, that way the fish doesn't like clip you off as often. I mean, they even with the long shank hooks, they will clip you off if you hook them wrong. So, but we're gonna go ahead and tie this on and then send the first bait out there. Hopefully, hopefully we get on them pretty good. There we go. There we go, finally. Finally, it's starting to come through now. know how to get one soon here. At the end of the pier, just drifting that bait out there. Let's see how big it is. It's pretty decent. Not a bad macro there. Oh yeah. Good size mac there. It's all bloody. See ya. All right, first one. First one, let's try to get more here. Look, they're starting to come through. Did you hear that? They are starting to come through, baby. Everybody's hooking up. There you go, should get one right here. That shouldn't take too long. There it is. Oh yeah. That's a that's a grown one there. Excuse me. It's a good fish right here. Somebody's flying. That is a good one. Ah, broke me off right there. There you go. Oh, that was a big blow up, bro. That was a big blow up. Let's see if we can get him right here. That's gonna get smoked. There's a good one. I mean, that was like on the drop. That was crazy. 
Does he know he's hooked yet? It's a good one. He'll eat, but we're not keeping him fish today. Oh yeah. A little bit smaller than the, the first one and the one I lost for sure. The one I lost was like 20 inches. See ya. I mean, that one was immediate. As soon as that bait hit the water, he was like all over it, hooked up immediately. Ah, is he on it? Yeah, he is on it. Little guy though. Little guy. This is the smallest one of the day right here. You know, these guys, they come in schools. You know, sometimes you get your bigger ones and then, you know, little ones. A lot of fun, that's for sure, to be able to get on them just from a, a pier. Just hooking the, the green back through the bottom, just like this. And just sending them out there as if I'm freelining for a uh, grouper. No way, dude. My freaking bait was on the surface of the water. He missed the bait, but I, I hooked him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another good one there. Just, you know, right off this pier. Yes, sir. Still back. Good one there. You know, this is uh, one of my favorites right here. One of my favorite types of fishing. Uh, freelining for mackerel. Especially when you get a you know, 20 incher. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Just like that. Oh yeah, look at him, man. He's just like swimming like crazy. And that's what the Spanish mackerel like. Just letting that bait swim along the current, really. And the more he dives, the better, honestly. Oh, being chased. Oh, on the surface. There it is. A little bit smaller. Smaller fish here. Yeah, definitely a little bit smaller. Let's put him back. A little bit of fray on the leader, so it's good to just retie. Here you go. Oh yeah. That's a good one there. That is a solid one. Oh yeah. Look at that. Good size, good size macro here. Um, the size limit, they gotta be 12 inches to the fork, I believe. Yeah, 12 inches to the fork. This guy's going back, see ya. We got two bait left in the bucket here. I'm gonna have to get some more bait. They love that thread fin though, I'll tell you what. They love the thread fin more than they love the, the pilchard. A little bit bigger size pilchard there. Should get eaten either way. So this time of year, the, the Spanish mackerel, I mean, they're, this, that water is starting to cool down a little bit. They are everywhere, especially right off the beach. Um, you know, a couple miles off the beach. You'll see schools of them along with the bobos too, the bonitas. A lot of fun to catch whether it be on artificial or a live bait. In this case, I'm using live bait. You know, a lot of guys are out here throwing the, the spoons. They work really good as well. The, the spoon with, a, with like an ounce um, egg sinker, just throwing it, throwing it out there and just ripping it back in. Very effective. About to cast net for some more live bait here. I'm gonna do something different this time. I'm gonna you know, kind of chum the water a little bit. Let's see if we can get them even more, even more fired up. Six foot half inch mesh, the, uh, the net I'm using. Current is ripping through here. Definitely got to pull it up quick. Oh yeah. Plenty. Plenty of bait right there.
Got bait for days, man. I always love to share bait. Want some bait? Yeah, man. Take them. Take them. When you Plenty. Want, I got hooked because of you. And, uh, oh, yeah? yeah you love it, huh? A, a rad, uh, rad wheeling? Yeah. These are perfect size bait for, uh, for the macro right here. Not too big. Just like perfect for the bigger ones. Let's put another bait on. Just like that. Just going to drop them right here. Be cool to see him come up and hit it right here. Good one. There it is. Oh yeah. That might be a solid one there. He's pulling drag a little bit. Oh yeah. Good fish right there, boys. Send him off his way. Back-to-back -back action, non-stop out here on the, the pier. Like I mentioned earlier, um, it's a couple days before before the hurricane, so that might be why these fish are feeding like crazy. They're gonna be here and feed before that hurricane comes, for sure. Definitely get more bites um, with the live bait, for sure. I do need to stock up on more of those uh, crappie jigs. I would love to use those right now, but I don't have any in the uh, in the tackle box. I would use the uh, pompano jigs, but you know I hate to lose those. Those are those can be expensive. Dude, that was immediate. What is that trout? Oh yeah, that's a trout. Oh no, that's a mackerel. Little guy. Oh good, little dude. Bunch of these little schoolies around. You know, occasionally you'll get lucky and get the, the bigger, bigger ones, but be a lot of these for sure. Sending another bait out there. Shouldn't take too long right here. You know, when these fish come through, I mean, everybody hook up just like that. There's a couple, a couple right next to him too, following them. Look at that. Small though. This guy's about the same size I caught earlier. Maybe a little bit bigger. Still, still looking for the bigger, bigger ones. He's a keeper, for sure. They only have to be like 12 inches to the fork, I believe. That's where I like to hook him, just like that. That way, this guy swims down a little bit below the surface and that's what seems to work best. That's a good one there. That is a better one. I mean, it's instant action over here, man. Oh yeah, that is a little bit better sized fish for sure. Oh yeah. Look at that. This shouldn't take too long. It's a good sized bait right there. There you go. Well, you got a float on? Yeah. Well, what's wrong with the float? Huh? What's wrong with the floater? You don't like the floater? No. I think I'd be decent size. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one there. Feels like feels like it's it's a decent one. I feel like a trout, honestly. He's not running like a like a mackerel. Trout. Definitely a trout. You got fish stream charters joining us. He's small. I think he's 15. Maybe. There he goes. That was quick release. It just came right off. That hook's pretty small, so you know sometimes it just comes right off. That was a quick release for you. Yeah, it's going out. It's 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 been low. I think that's because that storm's like you know sucking it, sucking it all out. There was never incoming tide yesterday kind of wild I was waiting for the yeah. yeah I was waiting for the tide to come in so I can mess with the with the snook over there on the beach they're still there you checked 
Oh yeah, the snooker. Dude, they're, they're stacked up on the beach right now. So we can probably target that if you want later. Yeah. I'm gonna mess, keep messing around with the, the Spanish macro here. Yeah, I got Ryan on with Oh yeah? He's fired up, he's fired up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Good one, Ryan. No, I've just been releasing them. You keeping them, Jordan? No, I got plenty of them. All right, here we go. Send another portrait out there. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Keeper. That's a keeper there. Oop. You want him? Okay. Here's another one. Oh yeah, double. Oh, that's, that's a good one, Jay. Bobo? Bobo. Bobo. I don't know. Big Spanish. Big Spanish, dude. Mine's not bad. Oh, that's a nice Spanish. Make me want to keep Spanish macro now. Bring him up, Jordan. <laughs> oh yeah. That, that's a good one, dude. I guess we're keeping fish now. Should we just keep this one too then? All right, cool. What do you want him, Jordan? Uh, we'll bleed him too here. Yeah. I, my knife. My knife. I got my knife. Yeah. Uh, 20. 20. Yeah. Man, that's a good fish Jordan just caught. He hit it like to the left side a little bit, just letting it drift naturally with the current. When he first hit it, we thought it was like a bonita. And we saw it thrash his tail. Pretty cool. Biggest one I've seen all day. There's another good one there, way out there. Hopefully this one stays on, man. Hopefully this one stays on. This one's peeling drag. That's another good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's another good one, Ryan. Not as big as Jordan's. Maybe the, the bigger ones are starting to come in now. Yes, sir. Oh, he's all bloody, dude. Put them in the, in the bucket or something here. Solid fish right there, guys. In that corner over there. That's a good one, Jay. Yeah, dude, that's a solid one. Bigger one just starting to show up, dude. Look at that. <laughs> that's a good one, Jay. <laughs> solid fish. There we go. Pull and drag a little bit. It's another another decent one there. Ah. Just came off. That was a good one. Oh. <laughs> Bro. Did you see that? <laughs> you are gonna lose a lot of uh, a lot of hooks using this. I mean, uh, fishing for mackerel this seems like it's an all-day bite i mean all morning usually you know the bite stops sometimes but it's been good so far at least you know the, the bite continues to hold up oh yeah a little bit eh, a little small let this guy let this guy go Try to get a little bit bigger size fish. Worthy not to uh, swing. Yeah, They're exactly. Like yeah, dude, I'd, I'd hate to be a greenback. <laughs> these 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 you Spanish are. Up. Yeah, these Spanish are ruthless. Get sliced up. They're like mini barracuda. Yeah. Yeah, those barracuda. Barracuda is supposed to be like one of the fastest fish. Good looking bait there. Come on. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. 
There we go. Good one. It's a good fish right there. Bubbles, you think? Yeah, that's a solid one there. Look at that, guys. Not bad for right off a of pier. You want them? Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, there it is. Good fish. That's a good fish right there, man. He's strip drag, bro. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's a good one. Let this guy go. Good one. Should be immediate right here. That was on the dead bait, bro. I mean, they're hitting dead bait and live bait. Look at this fish. It's a good one there, man. Look at that, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, you want them? Yeah, I'm going to try to smoke them. Dude, they're really good smoked. I haven't had dip in a while. Really good, man. Oh, mine got smoked. Double. There it is. Good one right there. That is gonna be it for me, guys. I mean, had a blast out here on the pier all morning long. We're gonna send this guy back in the water and pack her up. It's my last fish, Jordan. Heading out after this, dude. There it is. All right, guys, that is gonna be a wrap. I mean, we absolutely crushed the Spanish mackerel on the pier today. Everybody, everybody was hooking up. Such a great Spanish mackerel uh, fishing action. They're gonna be on the pier for probably a couple more days before that hurricane hits. So it's gonna be on fire. Probably gonna come back out here again tomorrow morning and um, hopefully crush it again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.